So Ergo has been one of those top coins that GPU miners have migrated to after the Ethereum merge. In today's video, we're going to be going over Ergo and the FPGA situation, which could be hitting the network soon. I know there's already rumors of FPGAs on the network, but we're going to explore it deeper in this video. So when it comes to FPGAs on Ergo's network, there was an article written on the Ergo platform. This was about four or five months ago, something like that. It just comes from some updates for the Ergo network, and it talks about FPGAs on the network and how the memory chips for it aren't exactly the best in terms of getting onto the network. It just goes here, the above photo is an FPGA with eight memory chips on the front, and there are another four on the back. The total SRAM memory is only 576 megabytes. Sufficient enough SRAM won't die because the SRAM will need to be placed further on the cores as its note dense isn't enough to be a layer one around the core. This can result in read write delays because electricity needs to travel longer distances even though the hardware itself is faster. Additionally to mine ergo the memory requirements increase as N increases so fitting sufficient SRAM is not feasible over time. Thus SRAM ASICs are not worthwhile exploring even if you had enough cash to spend on SRAM itself. So it's talking about ASICs mainly but it's talking about SRAM in terms of the FPGA boards that you can buy. And we've had a couple of people on forums say that they've managed to actually get FPGAs onto the Ergo network. Right here in this forum post from around, you know, a year ago, something like that. It says many of you may remember my old account. So this guy is Wolf Zero. He's basically a person that does a bunch of stuff on FPGAs and mining and stuff like that. But he comes out with this post. I'm not going to go through all of it, but it's basically, but it's basically an FPGA for the Ergo network. Now it says here, my miner is still in alpha stage, just a proof of concept, but I'm currently mining with a JC3 FPGA board, which features two whatever FPGAs, each with eight gigabytes of HBM2 memory. I'm also mining with an Osprey's ECU50. It says I have exceeded three mega hash per watt. Screenshot is here. There's some not safe for work pictures in the background, so I'm not going to put it up, but the breakdown here is for the FPGAs. And we can see FPGA0, 56.14 watts at 172 mega hash and then 55.45 watts at 172 mega hash and then the third one is 68.96 at 169.2 mega hash now there's obviously a star above it because this fpj is an osprey ecu 50 which cannot lower the voltage on so this is his updated version of it i know there was an earlier thread that he actually had on it but in terms of profitability, we'll look over that at the end of this video. But firstly, I want to talk about how ASICs can get on the network. And we're going to look at an interview that Bitmain did on their Twitter with a bunch of Ergo kind of creators and developers. And they're going to talk over it. So I'm just going to flash that up and then you can listen to it for about two minutes and get an idea of what they're really going for. Um, how are you guys planning to handle the advent of FPGAs to the space? Okay, who can answer this question? Sure, I can. That's a really good question, actually. Um, you know, if you look outside of like uh, Bitmain and the ASICs side, uh, you could look at uh, kind of the growth pattern of AMD. Uh, they recently required, acquired a big uh, FPGA company. And so, you know, on one level, we can say, okay, what is the average consumer GPU going to look like in a decade? It's not a question I can answer, in all honesty. Um, at Ergo, what we have done is we have a, a memory-hardened algorithm that increases its mem table about four times a year, roughly. And what that does when someone uh, tries to build specialized mining equipment on it is it makes it difficult. Now, um, those particular uh, pieces of hardware, uh, field programmable gate arrays, um, you know, they're they're somewhat efficient and catching up with GPUs. So it's something that, you know, for Ergo, I'm not the guy to talk to. The community is. We decide together. That's uh, the entire purpose of our governance system is that we're not in charge, the miners are. So ultimately, that's going to be up to the mining community itself. So there we just heard about how they're going to combat FPGAs on the network, and they also talked about how their memory system works. So they actually have a memory system which updates around four times a year. So in theory, if you're on an FPGA, you'd have to update the software and kind of crack it every four months, something like that. And then it actually says about how the decentralization of Ergo itself is more up to the community. 
So in theory, if we have votes and stuff on the Ergo network, as you can see, miners do have votes on the Ergo network. So if we have them and then miners vote out the FPGAs, then they'll start working on it. But if they allow FPGAs on the network, which I am willing to guess that most GPU miners won't be willing to do that. And then obviously they'll start to implement, you know, stuff to combat FPGAs on the network. Now, Rabid Mining did do a video about ASICs actually joining the network, but there wasn't any bit streams for it. So right now it looks like people are trying to head towards ASIC mining Ergo in the future, but they haven't actually come out with anything solid yet. Now, if we look at the Ergo hash rate, we can just see here that we've obviously had a lot of hash rate hit the network from the Ethereum merge. And then it kind of slowly went all the way down to 48.84 terahash that it is at now today. So it's a bit of a spike in the last two, three days, something like that, but not much. Now, if FPGAs start mining on this network, it'll probably be from GPU miners who, anyway who start buying FPGAs just to get on the network and start being more efficient. Now, in terms of profitability, if we click on what to mine, we'll enter these auto Lycos figures if we go back to this Ergo FPGA. And this is the only one that I found actual concrete evidence of actually, you know, the theory of mining on the Ergo network with FPGAs. So if we look here, we're just going to go with the top FPGA here at FPGA 0. So 56.14 watts if we put this into watt to mine. And then we have a mega hash of 172 mega hash. So we can put that in as well. Now, if we look at cost, we're just going to go 10 cents per kilowatt hour as its default. And then we're going to see at the top on the profits of Ergo, you can actually make six cents profits. Now, I know this doesn't really seem like loads of profit because people are obviously mining with low electricity costs or free electricity on the Ergo network, or they're just mining it in speculation. But in reality, a lot of people want to be profitable. So FPGAs might be the move for Ergo network. So that's it for the video guys, if you did enjoy please like the video and subscribe, also don't forget to watch the recommended video at the end of this video.